Took that zit thing off. It's black now. Made it red though, didn't it? Of course, I've been picking down it. Look at me sweating. You see that bead of sweat? I'm soaked. It's early. It's not nine o'clock. We're headed to the river. I'm burning up. We're going to fry today on that boat. Yeah, I showed up to them strips in again. Hey, I need some Vaseline. My face is dry. This is where they gonna dock the boat and we get on that down there. That ain't our boat, that's somebody else's boat. Here's a boat right here. That's a rig. And that's the boat stuff. I don't know if this is the Tennessee River or the Cumberland River. I think it's Cumberland. Pretty sure. I don't know. I'll ask them. I think you got to go down to Waverly or New Johnsonville or something to get the Tennessee River. Pretty sure this is the Cumberland. Got your life jacket? And your sunscreen? Oh, did you see that butterfly? Got it. Be okay. Be careful. Okay. Yeah, I don't want to fall in the water. That would scare me to death. I bet there's snakes in there. You think? No. I bet there is too.
We're on an island right now. It's shallow, shallow, like up to their knee. I ain't getting in. His water's dirty and nasty. Like they've pulled dead bodies and stuff out of the Cumberland, for real. <laughs> Not bad at all, really. I think the swimming pool colder than this. Is it? It's been weird this year. The swimming pool been colder than the river. Yeah. It's been like that several times we came to the river. But at the first of the season, the swimming pool warmed up. The river wasn't. So the first of the season was backwards, and the rest of it's been backwards too. I don't know what the hell's going on. Every time I cut the video thing on, the music stops. <laughs> I didn't know it did that. I, I guess keep you from copyright or something. This is how you do a uh, redneck summer. I'm gonna say for the video what I just told them. They're making fun of me because I won't get out and get in this water. I ain't getting in this water. Mm -mm. I know what's in this water. It is a hot August 94 degree day in Tennessee, and they're stirring up at stuff. On the bottom of that sandbar. There's amoebas and shit grown in there. Mm -mm. No, no, thank you. We ain't letting that dirty water go anywhere near me. Mm -mm. There was a kid, I think, in Arkansas that got in some dirty water in August and his teeth started falling out and he got like. An infection up in his nasal passages and sinuses and had to have reconstructive surgery and um, he got the bugaboo from swimming in the river after school started. Mm -mm, that mean. I used to when I was young and dumb didn't know better. I know better now. Mm -mm. I ain't getting in this water. It's nasty. I got me a big old cup of ice right here. See it's shrunk. See it? I've been gnawing on it. Letting that water drip on me. It's nice and cold. Mm -mm, I ain't getting in that nasty water. Mm -mm. Not me. Every time I turn the video camera on, the music stops. Uh, can I circumvent that somehow? You might know how to do that. I'm listening to Sabrina Carpenter. That boat over there has got something going too. I don't know what. You having you some crackers? <laughs> you got a bug juice? Or you want a water? You need something to drink? You want me to get you something? You got something? Look, I turned the camera on and our music goes off. That stinks, don't it? We lost our tunes, bud. You like his music? That ice, that ice can blow your mind, your mouth up. Yeah. And water soon. I'll get you some out of the cooler. This is just one big blob, and I've licked all over this. Oh, yeah.
get that one. Look. How big is that? This big? Like. Oh no, don't touch it. I'm not. If you touched it, I can't eat it. There's a bunch of ice in the cooler. Go get your cup. It's a lot. Mm -hmm. We don't have cups. Oh, we don't have any cups? Ask Gigi. <laughs> Emma yeah. wanted to see you take her every day of wear in that damn old mobile cut the supreme cut. Didn't even have no air conditioning, had the old crank case window. And Emma loved that damn car. And this is chauffeurs around. Yeah, there's some Gatorade in there for you, brother. I don't need no drink. I need ice. Oh, what is it? There's ice in there. Gatorade, whatever you want. Open that cooler. Oh, no. You don't need no cup. It's like a restaurant out here, bro. Yeah. Y'all leave him alone. They fish out here, brother, but you ain't a fish. You and me all around. See if that's going on here. I know. Let me see if they got any cups. Can't you catch your phone when we call them? Y'all better be done. Yeah, they said all of them dirty. You don't want no cup back there been in the gum. They said all the cups are dirty. They they got to wash them. I wouldn't drink that for you. Whatever you want to do. Well, they said all of them dirty. They ain't had a chance to wash them. You want me to tell them to go wash them? Yeah. 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 God, that's gorgeous. Dusky. I Dusky. see him. Fun, 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 fun. You know, they say that only ladies of ill refute wear ankle bracelets and toe rings, foot jewelry. Is that true? <laughs>
we're waiting our turn and we're going to dock and we're going to go home. I am destroyed. Look at that hair. It's newer though. Not newer. He said he regrets doing it. I got my big butt up in this monster truck and we're done boating for the day and I got out of the boat at the dock and I'm in the air-conditioned truck now and it's nice I probably got a little bit too much Sun I put I did put sunscreen on but I'm a little red I think across there maybe the Sun helped that thing Dang it, that's so nasty looking. Anyway, look at my hair <laughs> after being on the boat. It's, it's not as bad as it's been before, but it ain't good. They're loading the boat now on the trailer. Hey y'all, thank you for watching the video on the day uh, that we spent in, uh, in the, on the boat at, uh, in the Tennessee um, well, heck, I can't even talk this morning. I ain't had enough coffee. I just made me a cup. Um, we were on the Cumberland River. Uh, we got on in Ashland City, Tennessee, um, down near Dozier's Boat Dock, and we rode up and down to Cumberland, and it was during the week. I think it was Wednesday. It could have been Thursday, but um, we, we spent all day uh, on the river. We had a big time, um, but uh, I did... I, wasn't sure how I was I'm not I'm new at this vlogging thing so I wasn't very good uh at you know closing something out because I I thought I was going to do one huge uh Tennessee vlog but good lord y'all y'all it would be probably five or six hours long so I'm trying to do it in like little you know chapters or whatever but this was the day that we went to the river and it was um Aaron and Chad uh my husband's niece and her husband and their grandson Carter who I am obsessed with he's the cutest little thing you know I got all grand girls I don't I don't have a little grandson so if we lived in Tennessee um, I, I'd be nanny to him I'm telling you I'd adopt him he is so cute and precious I, he's the sweetest little thing um, and uh, his his mama, my uh, great niece, her name's Emma. Uh, please keep her in your thoughts and prayers. Uh, either I can't remember if Emma's. Tw I think she'll be 22 in December, um, but she is uh, struggling. Uh, she she has been for uh, about a year and a half, I think two years maybe she had to have her thyroid removed she's got thyroid cancer she's got a cancer specialist and she uh, you know that they're staying on top of things but they're worried it's come back once and they went in and did she's had several surgeries and she's on chemo and it's just I'm worried uh, you know she she's got that sweet little boy and you know uh, the whole family just adores her loves her to death but y'all please please keep my little niece uh emma in your prayers uh her little boy needs her uh, we all need her and i just hope she beats this thing i uh, just told her to put her faith in god and uh keep praying and i pray every single morning every single night for emma because i'm just worried to death but um she she's a sweetie she's a good person she's in college she's fixing to graduate this winter she's doing like her clinicals and stuff now uh she's gonna be like a scientist a scientist something to do with um doing lab research i don't i don't know exactly what it is but she's some kind of she's gonna be some kind of scientist um and she's wanting to when i think she's gonna work you know a little bit a couple of years and she's wanting to go back because she wants to be a nurse anesthetist i think i'm saying that correctly i'm an rn if y'all didn't know so she's wanting a bigger degree than i've got um she she's i think you have to get your mass uh, you have your masters to to be that um but anyway she can do it she's real smart and i mean she's doing college and she's had a uh you know when she started she had a little bitty baby and of course he's i think carter is fixing to turn four i believe um 
but she had a little bitty baby, she had cancer, and she's still making straight A's, 4.0 in college. So, we're real proud of her, but, I mean, to, you know, stress has a, a big effect on how well you do with your treatment, you know, for cancer. But anyway, I totally got off the subject. I'm so sorry. Please keep my niece in mind, your thoughts and prayers. Um, but that's our day at the river. We had a good time. I'm so glad we got to spend the day with Carter. He was a joy. But I hope y'all enjoy it. Thank you for watching. Leave me a comment. And there's more more vlogging videos to come. And I'll try not to make them so long. All right. Thanks. Talk to you later. Bye.